Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to get into a the concept of the pursuit of happiness. Um, I was thinking about this the other day and I came up with a statement behind that, which I thought was very interesting when you really think about it. And that is the pursuit of happiness causes the most harm. But then after that, we wish to return back to the way we were before we were pursuing that happiness. Um, and just to clarify, it, it's weird. We don't think about it like that when we say we want to pursue happiness. We just think of it in general as, OK, I just want to pursue happiness. <clears throat> but how often is it that we as people, we go on this journey to pursue happiness, whether it's a job, whether it's relationship. I mean, those are usually the key things. Maybe it's a business investment, whatever the case is. And things go wrong. Things can go wrong in a relationship. They go wrong in, in you know whatever scope of that relationship is, whether it's marriage, whether it's having kids, this and that. You got to separate and your whole life was flipped upside down. Maybe you pursue, pursued a career job that um, you, know, you thought was going to be a certain way. You thought you were going to like it. 10 years into it, 15 years into it, you're like, I, I can't stand this job, but that's the life that you chose because you were pursuing happiness. And then sometimes you say to yourself and you think back about the golden days of when you were younger and you go before you started that thing that you were pursuing as happiness and realize, I wish I could go just go right back to that. But at which point you've built your life around the thing that you were pursuing for happiness that you're so deep entrenched to it that you can't now separate your life from it. It gets harder to separate your life from it. Um, and it's just an interesting concept that we never think about it like that. But often we do find ourselves in almost every single problem we can find ourselves in, tragic situation we find ourselves in, anything, all came from the pursuit of happiness. Um, so it's just kind of ironic when you say or think of it in that way that, wow, OK, so me trying to pursue happiness creates the things that I either regret the most or have the most weight on my shoulders or becomes the most problems that I ever faced inside my life. Um, but then with that concept, I guess, comes the whole, the whole notion that everyone always says, that's that famous phrase, you know, it's almost like you got to know a rainy day to appreciate the sun. If you didn't pursue that happiness, and, and even if it went wrong, would you have always Jen, felt like well, I never pursued that thing that I wanted to pursue to find happiness. And now I'm, I feel, you know, I, I don't feel good that I never pursued it. Or if you didn't leave the comfort of, <clears throat> say, your sunshine, quote unquote, in the form of this kind of peaceful life you had before you were pursuing happiness, would you have even appreciated that beforehand? So, for example, I'll, I'll use it as an example in terms of relationships. You might have been single and you go, man, you know, being single sucks. I see some of my friends with with somebody being single sucks, you know, whatever the case is. I wish that I, you know, just had someone to do things with. If you never experience sometimes being with somebody and encountering maybe loss of freedom, loss of being able to do what you want, this and that, you probably wouldn't have appreciated what you had before until you pursued what you quote unquote thought was happiness and then realized. It wasn't what it was cracked up to be, or as the saying always goes, the grass isn't always greener. So it was just a little bit of food for thought, you know, coming across that concept. But I think it's definitely important for people to realize that be careful. I guess this, you know, the, the, the takeaway from all this is be careful when you're pursuing happiness, because not all the time is the happiness that you are pursuing, um, you know, the actual it's not always actually the, the best thing, but you don't realize it until you hit that point. Um, you know, so, so, and I know it's hard to kind of know what is it going to be like on the other side until you actually get there. But just always remember that in everything that you pursue when you're pursuing happiness, that saying is very true that the grass is not always greener, or maybe it's not even the way that you pictured it to be, you know, maybe, maybe it's almost like a, a, um, a facade, you know, the grass that you're looking at is not even real. Maybe it's fake grass made to look that way. And when you actually 
get on that other side of the grass, you realize, wait a minute, this grass looks so nice because it's fake grass. It's not real grass. Um, you know, but just to say that, to say, just be careful when it comes to pursuing happiness. Um, we pursue happiness so hard, rightfully so, because, you know, isn't that what life is about? Just trying to be happy, find happiness. But at the same time, we don't realize that in that pursuit, that is or can be our greatest downfall or our greatest tragedy. Um, we don't find, we don't find issues or problems. I mean, problems will come to us sometimes just out of nowhere. But for the most part, we never really sit down to think that most of our problems can be avoided if we sit, sat still and did nothing. And I'm not saying that's the way to be in life. But sometimes we do have to kind of sit still and take a moment to realize what are we actually pursuing? What are we trying to give up? Um, <clears throat> I had a friend who uh, once years back had said, and this is going on a little rant, a little tangent on the side. But I had a friend who once said to me that when we were young, he said, I don't want to. I don't want to have a lot in life. I don't want to have. Um, you know, family. I don't want to have a great job. I just want to have a simple job, maybe have a dog, maybe not live alone and just do all the same basic things that I do now. And this was, you know, when <clears throat> he was probably young 20s, maybe even late teens. And it's funny because while we might think to ourselves, if someone was to say that, you know, um, Oh, that's crazy, especially at that age. You know, oh, that's crazy. Like, you know, what don't you want to pursue more? Don't you want to have more? But I, I thought it was very insightful to realize that with less in life that you pursue, there's also less problems. Now, I'm not saying that that's the way to go, but I always thought it was interesting that that friend said that. And sure enough, fast forward to the future. A lot of the problems that a lot of the people I know um, and a lot of people I come across who aren't necessarily friends, but just, you know, just people you see around places, work environments, social environments, whatever the case is, but even close friends. Everyone who pursued more in that pursuit of happiness has encountered so much more problems. And that same friend who said they didn't want much, they pursued that exactly as it was, pretty much had a simple life. And to this day, they don't have the weight of the world on their shoulders. So it's very interesting to when you dissect that to realize is that your actual pursuit of happiness is what's going to give you the biggest grief in your life. It's just part of the process. So it's just definitely something to take a step back and to think about, to really kind of evaluate and just have that in the back of your mind. Just let that sink in for a little bit and really just dissect that. Um, because it's something that most people don't really think about. And I just think it's something that was an interesting thought that crossed my mind. And it's, I think it's something that everyone should actually kind of really think about. And like I said, just to reiterate, it's not saying don't pursue happiness, but just be mindful that that will be where your greatest um, pain in life will come from is your pursuit for change. And as they always say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So of course, it's like a gamble. The only way you have the risk of gaining something is with the risk of losing something. But sometimes also you have to be aware to say, sometimes just where you are is happy just as it is. Sometimes we need to change to realize that, which is sometimes unfortunate, sometimes it is fortunate. But just know that sometimes right where you are from the very beginning is right where you should have been, is perfect as it is. And sometimes we strive to get back to that place after we leave that place. But with that being said, post your comments down below. Um, hopefully this was, you could relate to this. Maybe it was insightful. Hopefully it gave you a little something, gave you a takeaway and everybody stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.